they took the crown of thorns on and they round and bound around Jesus head but he kept going the spikes they took out those spikes those long spikes they put it on his hands he hung on the cross and the sarcasm they said when he hung on the cross if you're the son of god come down he could have come down he was god in human flesh nothing was impossible for him he could have come down but he stayed put there on the cross because he loved you he wanted to give you purpose and meaning in life he hung there nothing could stop him the soldiers couldn't stop him the slaps couldn't stop him the spit couldn't stop him the splinters couldn't stop him the spikes couldn't stop him the sarcasm couldn't stop him he went there why your life was in danger my life was in danger the wolves were attacking us and jesus went in between and he died for us he died for us he shed his blood and today his blood speaks a better word the bible says his blood is a speaking blood no this blood speaks the blood of jesus is special because his blood the bible says in the book of hebrews it is a speaking blood it speaks a better word better word than which blood the blood of abel abel who he was the brother of cain cain was the son of adam and cain killed abel and the bible says the blood of abel cried out to god what did the blood of abel cry out it said my brother killed me my brother killed me my brother killed me he took me to this field and he killed me that is an accusatory tone the blood of abel had an accusatory tone it said to everybody it tell, told the creator god my brother killed me brother killed me but jesus' blood my bible says speaks a better word it doesn't condemn you it doesn't accuse you it says come to me come to jesus i'll cleanse you from every sin that unprintable sin that night of passion that that hour that dark afternoon that 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 darkness and noon time when you sinned against god that afternoon that night every minute of your day every sin my blood will cleanse you my blood will not accuse you my blood will cleanse you that's why my bible says the blood of jesus speaks a better word than abel's blood it is an embracing blood while abel's blood was an accusing blood what would you answer today this blood is speaking to you he says that blood says the blood of jesus says this blood was shed for you what is your response will you repent from your sin and will you say jesus i give my one life to you so that it becomes the life that you talked about so that i'll enjoy life life to the fullest to oh lord i want this life and jesus says the first step that you need to do for that is repent from your sins that's the first thing he said that's the first message that jesus preached he said repent for the kingdom of god is at hand he said in luke chapter 13 unless you repent you too will perish go to eternal hell jesus said and elsewhere he said remember lot's wife you now why lot's wife thought she had lots of time she was from the city of sodom and gomorrah as tripadi is famous for laddus as las vegas is famous for gambling sodom and gumara was famous for the sin of homosexuality and god told them god told lot and his family to run away and as mrs lot was running away she wanted to have one last look at sin she turned for one last look at sin she became a pillar of salt mrs lot thought she had lots of time mrs lot thought she had lots of time but she didn't have lots of time to repent my friend i love you and because i love you i speak the truth you know that's why it's imperative that whoever you are college student corporate guy corporate girl whoever you are you can use this opportunity that you have to come to jesus in repentance and faith because tomorrow may be too late life is not in our hands if you suddenly die after death there is no chance of salvation because my bible says in hebrews 9:27 man is destined to die once and after that face judgment no salvation after death and you know there's another reason why you should come to christ now because jesus is going to come like a thief in the night he in john 10:10 10, 10, jesus compared the devil to a thief but the bible later says jesus but jesus will come like a thief in the night he will come at an hour when you are not expecting him he will come at an hour when you are not expecting him in one bit and when he comes back he comes as a judge and that time it will be too late for you to accept him he's going to come to judge you but today he's a savior he wants he wants he's your shepherd he wants to carry you and put you in his arms would you come to him 
as I speak to you in the mic, you hear another voice. That's the voice of the Holy Spirit. Repent. Repent. Quit playing games. Quit playing games. Get serious with Jesus. He's the only way, the truth and the life. His blood can cleanse you. His Jesus can give you a purpose and meaning in life. Don't say no, no. But if you keep saying no, no, you may never hear that voice again. Because my Bible says in Genesis 6, 3, my spirit will not keep speaking to man forever. My spirit will not keep speaking to man forever. So now is the time. Tomorrow may be too late. I want you to close your eyes. And I want, you to, I want to ask you a question. What will be your answer to this, to this blood of Jesus? It says, it speaks a better word. It says, come, come to me. Come to Jesus. He will cleanse you. Will you say, yes, I'm repenting from my sin. I'm believing in Jesus as my savior so that I can inherit this life abundant. If you say, yes, I want you to raise your hand. Raise your hand. If you say, yes, I want you to raise your hand. You don't have to be ashamed. Jesus was not ashamed of you. He went to the cross to die for you. He hung there half naked publicly. He was not ashamed. He said, if every man who, every man Jesus called, he called publicly. And he said, if you're not acknowledging me before men, I will not also acknowledge you before God in heaven on that day. I want you to raise your hand. If you raise your hand, I want you to get up from your seats. You say, I want this Jesus in my life. I want you to get up. I, will, I, I want you to get up. Don't, don't, hit, don't, don't waste a minute. Get up from your seats. Get up from your seats. You want Jesus in your life. And you want, to, you, want, you want to get serious with Jesus. You want to come to Him in repentance. You want this new life, life to the full. I want you to get up. And I want you to walk forward. Those of you who stood up, walk forward. Walk forward right here. We want to spend a few minutes in prayer. And after this, we'll be done. He says, come to me. Come to me. Him that comes to me, by no means I will drive you away. Come to me. Tomorrow may be too late. Tomorrow may be too late. Now is the time. Today is the day of salvation. His blood says, this blood is for you. This blood is for you. These beatings are for you. Those, the whipping is for you. The slaps are for you. The spitting is for you. You should have died. But I took my, your place on the cross. The punishment that brought us peace, that brings you peace, was upon me. Would you respond to me? Come, come. Come, tomorrow may be too late. If your friends, if you have come with your friend, your friend will wait for you. Don't worry about your friends. You may never have this opportunity again. Possible. That's why Jesus said, remember Lot's wife. Lot's wife thought she had lots of time. She wanted to have one last look at sin, but that was not to be. So you can still come. We will wait for you. You can still come. By coming, you're saying in repentance, I'm coming to Jesus who can give me life. Life with a capital L. Come. And those of you who come forward, I want you to... You know, start confessing your sins to the Lord Jesus. Say, Jesus, I'm sorry for my sins. Jesus, cleanse me. Jesus, wash me. Jesus, make me whole. Just, just open your mouth and start confessing your sins to Jesus. He's, he's like a shepherd. He wants to carry you and put you in his lap. And he wants to hear you speak. He wants to hear you confess your sins. In repentance, you say, Lord, I'm sorry. I've sinned against you with my attitude, with my actions, with my eyes, with my body, with my legs, with my private parts. I've sinned against you. Please forgive me. Lord, please forgive me. Lord, please cleanse me. Lord, please wash me. I'm a sinner, Lord. I'm a sinner. Jesus, forgive me. Say that to Jesus right now. Say that to Jesus as you're standing. Open your mouth and say, I'm sorry, Jesus. Jesus, cleanse me. Jesus, wash me with your blood. Jesus, make me yours. He will forgive you. The blood of Jesus will cleanse you from every sin. The Bible says, He will forgive you. He will wash you. He will make you clean. He will make you whole. He is not a liar. The devil is a liar. He will give you life to the full. A full life on this earth and eternal life with them in heaven. He will give you that. He has given it to me. That's why I speak to you. Do it right now. I want you to right now say this prayer after me. Those of you who come forward and those of you who didn't have the courage to come forward, you can still pray this prayer if you want to give your life to Jesus. Wherever you are, if you still want to give your life to Jesus, Jesus who came to give your life, life to the full. Jesus who is the way, 
the truth and the life. Jesus who said, I am the way, the truth and his life. The only way to salvation, the only way to eternal life, the only way to find purpose and meaning in life is in Jesus. If you want to come to this Jesus in repentance and start living this new life, you can pray this prayer after me as these, my, these young friends of mine will pray with me. Please repeat these words. Please repeat these words. These words are not magic words, but this is to help you have a start a relationship with Jesus. So repeat these words with me, those of you who come forward. Dear Lord Jesus, Jesus, I'm sorry for my sins. I'm sorry for my sins. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Wash me, Lord. Wash me. Lord. Cleanse me, Lord. Come into my heart. Come into my life. Come into my life. I want to live for you. I want to experience the life that you talked about. Thank you for forgiving me. Thank you for cleansing me. Today, I begin my life with you. I am in you, Jesus. I am in Christ. Thank you for this reality. Thank you for this awesome experience. Help me walk with you till the day of my death. Help me to be faithful to you till the end. Help me read my Bible daily. Help me to talk to you in prayer. Help me to join church for fellowship. Give me courage to tell others about you. I love you, Jesus. I will live for you. In your name I pray. Amen.